the mother statue. It's hard to describe what I felt when I was near her, but I guess you could say it was a comforting feeling. It felt as if someone had wrapped a blanket around and accompanied it with a warm hug. But even though it's a statue, and her cold, dead stare kind of freaked me out, it gave me a feeling of security I haven't felt in a long time. It almost reminds me of the time that my ma- You were saying? Oh yeah, uh, my uh, mother. She reminded me of my mother a lot, actually. Anyways, it was more or less pleasing to be around in her presence. And you said beforehand that she had given you something. Well, it's more like it was just in her hand, but I felt like it belonged to me. The flower was specifically for me, and only me. Even from the moment I grabbed that flower, the strong feeling of, well, nostalgia washed over me. What was so nostalgic about the flower? It was a rose, my mother's favorite flower, but I absolutely hated roses for the same reason. Would you mind elaborating? Of course. Back when I was living with my mother and I was just a young lad, my mother had this weird obsession with flowers for some reason. But even worse than that, she used to eat them. Like, just put them in her mouth and crunch on them. I was somewhat helping her feed into this obsession, always picking random flowers that I found outside and giving them to my mother. But a lot changed after we moved to a new house. The reason for that is because over in the new house, there was this giant thorn rose bush that stretched on for a couple yards in the back of the house. And my mother would make me go back there and grab every rose I found and help continue to feed into her undying obsession with those god-awful flowers. I still have scars on my hands and legs from walking into the bush, letting those thorns pierce and scrape against me while blood dripped slowly down my hands as I held multiple roses. My mother didn't even hesitate to just throw the roses in her mouth. She didn't flinch when it started to cut her mouth, blood trickling through her lips. She just asked for more and I delivered. If I ever refused to bring her any flowers or didn't bring enough, she would physically beat me. Now every time I get the scent of a rose in my nostrils, I can only think of my mother. If you have such a terrible experience with roses, when did you feel so inclined to take the rose from the statue? I... don't know. Again, it just felt like it was made for me. Like this flower's specific purpose was to grow out of the ground and fall into my hands. And I also love this rose. Why is that? It has no thorns on its stem, 